everyone, welcome to Uni Crafts. If you are a crafter who owns a mini sewing machine, and if you like helping your planet, you've come to the right place because Uni Crafts is a craft and home improvement channel committed to donating a percentage of all ad revenue to charities of your choice. For more details, please click on the about section of Uni Crafts and check out the channel banner for all the charities that you have helped raise money for. Hi guys, I'm here in my little craft room experimenting with my mini sewing machine. Just working on a few little projects simultaneously. So um, I just thought I'd share with you a quick tip that I recently discovered, which will improve the efficiency with which you sew or with which you finish your projects. It's gonna save you time. It's going to make your sewing more faster, more efficient. Okay, so here I am at the mini sewing machine with a little scrap piece of fabric here. And if you remember watching any of my earlier videos where I showed you how to finish sewing a project, this is what we used to do. So say for example, I've stitched a few stitches. And now say for example, I have locked the stitches as well. This is what we used to do. We know that this little bit, which is a thread take up lever is quite fragile. So we did not want to put any pressure on it. So what we used to do is we used to take the needle out of the project. Okay, needles up. We used to lift the presser foot and now we used to make a loop here. Once that loop was made, we would pull the project out and snip the threads. And that would disengage the project. But do you notice how it took several steps to do that? Now, I've discovered an alternate way in which you can do this more efficiently and perhaps faster. And this is how to do this. So I'm going to pretend to sew again. And let's pretend that I've locked my stitches as well. Now we want to remove the project safely from the sewing machine without damaging the lever or any other parts of the sewing machine. How do we do that? Here's a more efficient way to do that. First of all, obviously we need to get the needle out. And obviously we need to lift up the presser foot. That's a given. Now, instead of making a loop and then pulling it out carefully, this is what you do. You just pop this thread out of the thread tension plates. Once the thread is out, it's no longer going to pull on this lever. So you can simply pull it out. Pull it out as far as you want to. It's not gonna matter. And you're done. Let's try that one more time. Now I want to remove the project. Pop this out. Pull it out as far as I want to. And I'm done. This was definitely so much more faster because once I disengage the thread from the thread tension plates, there's no pulling on the project. So I'm not restricted to just pulling it out by the length of that small little loop we used to make here initially. And this is definitely much more faster and more efficient if you're sewing in a flow and you want to finish your project quickly. However, do remember to always re-engage the thread back into your thread tension plates when you want to re resume sewing your project. I hope this really helps you. I think it's far more efficient than the way we used to pull the thread out at the end of our sewing. If you found this video helpful, do hit the like button, comment down below, let me know what you thought about this tip and share this video with one more friend who doesn't know how to sew. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.